Okay, so we're back at the client and we're ready to derive from our hoodie. So the first thing that we have to do is find the PID or the product identification number so we can actually load the hoodie up in create mode. And we'll find that number in the actual product page. So we'll go to our product page. Go down to where it says product CFL and we'll just copy that number. And we will need this number in create mode. So we'll minimize this, go to create, we'll derive a new product, and here's where we input that number. So we'll paste it, it'll pop up our hoodie, we'll hit derive, and now it's time to bring in the textures that we made in Photoshop. So we'll hit this map right here, and we'll hit edit. And for right now, we don't have an opacity map, so we don't need to worry about this. Hit edit, find our texture, which is the main texture, right here, hit open, we'll do the same right here, so we'll hit edit, sleeve texture, we'll open that up, and no changes are going to happen in the client until I hit apply changes. So there we go. There's our hoodie with our logo. We'll test the triggers out. That's looking fine. So we're ready to save this out to the client. So we'll hit save, save as. We'll name it a name that actually makes sense. Once you start building up your product line, it's essential that you have a good naming convention so you can find your product and your product files rather quickly, okay? So we'll name this Blue Hoodie. Okay, so we'll go to Upload. We'll type in our product name. We'll choose the rating for it. And it's time to put in our profit. So you see that this field is blank, yet the price is already at 499 credits. Well, what's happening is this first fee, IMVU gets a cut, and the creator of the mesh gets a cut. And then IMVU also puts a markup, which IMVU gets this whole markup fee right here. So what we want to do is put a number that's, that's going to make this rather competitive. So this is what I recommend to all my developers. First, go check out your competition. So we'll go to the product page, and we'll see how many derives this thing has. So this thing has 13 derives. Now, the lowest price is around 500 credits, and the highest price is around 1,000 credits. So even though IMVU is a virtual marketplace, real-world marketing actually will benefit you when pricing your product. So what you want to do is keep this competitive. You don't want to be placing the value of this around 2,000 credits, because nobody's going to buy that if they can get a similar hoodie for about 500 credits. So keep your prices competitive. So we'll go back to the client and we'll set our profit for this product. Play with the numbers here a little bit. Okay, so we're at a nice even 650 and we're banking 137 credits off the sale of this hoodie. So that's a reasonable price. We'll go ahead and add a product image. For this tutorial, I would just be uploading a blank 100 by 80 pixels blank thumbnail. And here are the requirements for it. So you can, you're welcome to read through these right here. We'll add the keywords. Keywords, just keep it simple. If you want a keyword to be calculated as a phrase in the search, you will need to add commas. So let's just say we wanted this to be searched by baggy hoodie. You would have to add commas in between that phrase. We'll just put a couple more words here and uh, we're ready to go. Now, controls, 
We want this thing visible in the shop and we would want it to be included in third party bundles. That's just uh, gives you another outlet for a sale. But this product is a derive off a of derive. So we don't want to have this included as a derivable product. So we'll uncheck that. We don't need to worry about this product override for now. So we're ready to submit it to the shop. Okay, we're at the last page of the product submission process. So, IMVU is going to tell you, hey, this product is not published yet. So, even though it's, here's your product page, it's actually not visible until you click here to publish it. Before you actually publish it, you want to make sure that your thumbnails is playing properly, your product description is displaying properly, and if we need any changes, we'll click edit settings. But for now, we're happy with what we have and we're ready to publish it. So we'll hit click here to publish. It's going to tell you, hey, this product is in peer review. So once this is done in peer review and hopefully it will pass, you will get uh, your product in your catalog. So now you're a little bit more familiar with the whole derived process and you're on your way to becoming a level seven developer. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.